Well, good morning. You may ask Fat Man, Professor Fat Pants, whatever are you doing on this fine day? Actually, it's not morning, it's about 2.30. I put brakes on my pickup this morning. I put new brakes on the front a couple weeks ago and then my backers started squeaking, so I got mud all over my glasses. I had to put them on so I could see to operate this contraption that I own now. Boy, I missed my flip phone. I mean, the thing's good, I just don't know. I mean, it's gonna take me a while to learn how to do all the things. Like I said, it's a lot smarter than me. But anyway, I am digging stone. Uh, what I'm doing is, uh, I'll show you here. What I'm doing is digging stone to uh, make room uh, for some more campers to park because we're doing this motocross thing uh, last year we just did the cross country this this year we're doing uh, motocross vintage motocross uh, Saturday and vintage cross country Sunday so they expect more of a crowd we had a uh, hundred and thirty I think registered riders last year and then of course their families and everything so it was probably I don't know 30 40 campers here this last year and they're thinking it could be double this year because a lot of the guys that do the cross country circuit don't do the motocross. So, you know, with the motocross, it's gonna be a lot of guys that just come in and wanna do the vintage motocross. Oh, it's gonna be a blast, man. Got uh, old vintage bikes, all pre, it has to be pre disc brake. So you're talking, you know, 70s, 60s, 70s, 80s. There's some awesome bikes coming in here. That's unbelievable. I'll do a big pit walk around and make some bits, but anybody who's into this vintage bike stuff, just old stuff in general that people, you know, like to fix up and keep up on and make nice, it's just so cool. And then you see these old duffers like me out racing around. <laughs> it's fun. It's it, There's a couple of them that are really good and they've raced all their lives. And, you can't compete with them with, with their boy. It's fun. It's just fun. Um, so anyway, I got my buddy Wes's truck. Keep old Wes in your prayers. He's such a good guy. He's, he's my buddy. I love him. And he's had uh, he's had so many health problems. Some poor guy. He had a hip replaced. He's had multiple hip replaces. You know, but he had the one done like about a year and a half ago, and he starting to get around pretty good with it and then he got an infection in it apparently the well i don't know if i'm saying this exactly correct but i'm just trying to you know give everybody a heads up but uh apparently he got like necrosis in the bone where the they've reacted to the metal in this last high-tech hip and uh the poor guy got a real bad infection and they i think they got that under control but they ended up having to remove the hip and they put like some kind of little brace in there for now and then he's going to go like a year and see if everything calms down maybe they can put another hip in him but in the meantime i mean i, I think he's like 150 years old i don't know I, don't, I think i think wes is like 70 but he was still pretty full of piss and vinegar you know he was always out dirt working and building septic systems i mean he's been self-employed for years doing that type of stuff so um you know i think he's comfortable in retirement i don't think he's you know kind of fall off the edge of the world if he can't do the work anymore but it's got to feel bad for a guy who's been active all his life and you know i i went to work for west that's how i met him when i i went to a bankruptcy back in 2000 i lost everything you know i lost everything i had and he gave me a good job and and uh you know running back on dozer and stuff i could do any of it and uh but we've become friends ever since and we swap stuff back if he need, you know, before when he was working, if he needed the X-grade or something, we swap that. So he let me use his truck, which is great. It's this old girl haul load. So I put about 18 scoops on and uh, take her down there and dump her off. It makes a nice big pile of rock, you know. But I do have some beautiful rock here. This is my property. And uh, it's really nice shale rock. It makes great road base, you know. So it makes a good spot for the campers so they don't get stuck in a field. I got a old field down there that's just grown up. Nobody uses it for anything. And uh, staying off the farm field, there's a couple of nice farm fields, but that area, I'll go rock it in and use it for something. And then uh, 
I've got my building for sale. If I sell out, I'm gonna have equipment to move in and park somewhere anyway. So give me a good parking, a rock base, you know, instead of mud. So, but anyway, yeah, just keep old Wesley in your prayers. I I haven't had time to visit him much. I just don't have any time, you know. I get I got home the other night at 8:30 or 9 o'clock, and I gotta head back out. I, I come home Friday night, and uh, I gotta head back out 3 o'clock Sunday morning to get down here to load trucks and stuff. So get down here by 6 6 30 and uh it's been freaking hectic i'm thankful for the work you know i got a lot of work down there he just gave me like 100 150 more acres to do um right across the street so man it's just been tough just catch up catch up catch up you know well we're in a predicament you know we got all this extra iron and you know i had all the trucks and all that stuff and you know I, i'm trying to sell stuff off but it, Nobody's buying because everybody's scared to death of Bidenomics. Yeah, what up? No comment. I'll do that later. <laughs> but anyway, so that's what I'm doing today. I thought it might be a fun little video. You know, at the old freight liner. It's ain't a bad truck. It burns oil. The motor needs a set of rings. It's got a big cam 400 in it. It actually runs good though, but it's smoking a bit too much for the road so i don't know if he's ever going to put it back on a road or sell it or whatever i'd like to have the sucker it's a nice truck but i probably need that like a hole in the head you know mammy says you want everything that's got a wheel on it that's right you know all right well i suppose i've blobbed long enough but i just was sitting here and i thought oh i might give a little shout out so. all right guys have a wonderful weekend if you do a little drinking, don't drive. If you do anything bad, name it after me. Yeah. All right. Uh, love you guys. Thanks for the comments, likes, all that stuff. Looking forward to seeing a lot of you guys at Bun Bun Joe at the Big Bun. So that's always that's a nice couple days off. Get to chill out, visit people, not worry like a maniac, you know. So. I had a nice weekend last weekend. We went to Rhode Island and made a big old pohog chowder, clam cakes. My brother got 20 lobsters. Oh, what a nice time. We took the kids. My grandkids were down here for a couple of weeks. The ones from Rhode Island, Adele and Liam and, and uh, Avery. So we took them to uh, Knobles on the way back up to Rhode Island. We met. My daughter Jeffrey, her, you know her husband, their dad, and we all, and then Danny and Jackie, my my boy and his wife and their little guy Evan went with us. We all went up to Rhode Island for the weekend. Great time. Nice to get with my brother and family and get a lot of good food, man. We good. <laughs> Chowder. <laughs> all right. I, I, I love the message. Uh, uh, Josh Welder, he's a lobster guy up in uh, up in Maine. He, he goes out and gets them red bugs. So. I left him a message. I said, Josh, Josh, I says, he commented on the video I put up. I said, Josh, I was, we was thinking about you and talking about you. Well, the work you guys do to get those old red bugs, but boy, they sure are good. Woo! We had a, uh, like nine or ten whole lobsters left over that were cooked, so we threw them in the ice box there and, and uh, well, we split the tails and claws off and stuff and then the next morning we went over and shucked out all the meat chopped it up, got some celery and some onion salt and some mayo and we made lobster rolls for lunch Oh, heavenly, I ate like three of them, oh, so good I like that better than the hot lobster, I like that lobster rolls are just the best Hey right, guys, blobbed enough Miss y'all. Wish y'all a happy weekend. Give a prayer out for Wes so he heals up good and get a new hip in him so he can get get around a little bit. Love you, Wesley. Ta-ta.